Hey guys, it's Taylor here and I wanted to pop in and show you guys how to put together our storage caddy. I know there's been some questions and some of you have had some troubles, so I want to talk to you about how I put it together. I have not been able to replicate any of the breakage issues that people have had and so um, if you are able to help us out with what might have gone wrong or if you watch this video ahead of time, hopefully you won't have any problems with getting this caddy together. Okay, so the first step, I have the four pieces that come with your storage caddy. There is a film on these pieces here. So you just go ahead and peel that film off. There is no film on this front side because they screen printed the logo on there. So just a film on the back side of this one. And the film should peel pretty easily, but if you want to use maybe a die pick or something just to scrape one little piece off of the edge. So we'll go ahead and peel the film here off of these sides. It is important to peel the film off before you start assembling because that's going to help it all clip together a little bit better. And then we have our last piece here and I already got that side. Okay, so now we have our four pieces that have been completely defilmed and now we will put it together. So this is how I do it. Um, even pressure is the key when you're putting this together. And I like to put together this side of the caddy first, or the center piece, putting it together like this and holding it in place as I find which way that it fits. So there is only one way that it will fit into the base of the caddy. Now, once I have one side, I usually do the shorter side first, and I'll just put my thumbs on both sides and click that into place until it stays there, just like that. So then I'll come over to this other side here, again, put my thumbs on those two sides, even pressure to click that into place. All right, now we're going to take the top of our caddy, and again, it only goes on one direction. You can see that one portion here that sticks up higher than the rest. We're going to place that over the top. Now, when you press this into place, you wanna put your thumbs here towards the middle, not towards the outsides. If you're putting pressure out here, that can crack this portion of your caddy. So just thumbs here in the middle, nice even pressure to click that into place as well. And then you should have a perfectly assembled caddy that spins and does wonderful things and stores your brushes beautifully. Now, I will give you one tip. Um, <clears throat> once you have your caddy put together, you could put some super glue. You could take it apart again and put some super glue down here towards the base. You could also super glue the top onto this plastic piece here because if you are planning to lift and move your caddy, you'll either need to pick it up from the bottom with both hands. If you try to pinch the caddy while you move it like this, that piece is gonna pop off, especially when you have all of your brushes in it and you try to pick it up by squeezing it on the sides here this is gonna pop out pretty easily, just like that. So you don't want that. So if you don't, if you wanna keep your caddy together really well, you can add some super glue, or just make sure that when you're moving it, that you pick it up from the base, that you spin it from the base, and that you're not you know, putting uneven pressure on this top part, because that will click the caddy out of place on the top. So just remember that even pressure as you click it into place, and you should end up with a beautiful blender brush storage caddy. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day.